the washing machine is actually usable at the moment because I've already put the outlet from that straight into the pipe in the floor. So that's a temporary solution. So Mrs. is able to use this. I can use it too, you know. I know how to use it. But that's back online, so pressure off for finishing. I'm gonna tackle some plumbing today because I need to figure out where to cut the holes for the pipes before I go much further with the wood. taps back on. If you see any leaks give me a holler will you? That's a bummer. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to figure that out. And a leak in here. In fact, I'd say there's probably two leaks in here. But this. vouchers for presents got two hundred dollars worth went shopping I 
bought a whole bag full of little things. And that will help me to measure the angle between the wall and the ceiling. Okay, sliding bevel. Got another one of those um, blades with the teeth on both sides. Router bits. And that's the one I want. Got a sliding square or combination square it's called. A marking gauge. A dovetail saw. These here bench grippers. They're very rubbery. They won't slide on the bench. This is a whetstone chisel and blade sharpener. A contour gauge it's called. A vernier calipers. And a one meter extension cord. And that there was $195 and change. That's my birthday present to myself from the vouchers I got from Rosie and Ashley. Thanks, family. Need somewhere to put them now. And I need to figure out how to use this gadget. But I need to finish that laundry before I get in trouble. First use of one of my new tools. Seven and a hair. Okay. And I put the new blade on my table saw. I forgot to turn the camera on while I actually cut that piece of wood. But that's the finished surface of that piece of wood. That's the off cut. Clean and smooth. And then on this side, that's where the old blade cut it. That'll do. Today's day seven pottering about. It's bloody cold. I've got a, a t shirt on and a long sleeve shirt. I had a jumper on, but I got too hot. Now I took that off and I'm cold again. Hang on a second. Huh. Anyway. So I've been doing a few bits and pieces off camera because they're just simple bits and pieces and there's no point filming them. Like, I made those open shelves there. They're not secured in there yet, but they are what the missus wanted to put the laundry detergent in. And some bottles underneath. 
they go all the way to the back as per her instructions. Uh, let me go kick a dog. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is secure the sink in the hole permanently or semi-permanent. Last night I had a plan to uh, finish off this or make some progress on it at least. I've got to change my mind. I'm going to do the shelves first. good at least. joints for mounting the shelves but that has too much potential to go wrong doesn't it day eight today uh, last night off camera I secured the two little step ups where the sink are is by going from underneath with long screws to go through all three pieces of wood pull them nice and tight together and it worked out well the alignment was good and everything and i think i must be braver today because uh, i've gone back to the idea of doing the sliding dovetail joint I'm cutting the wood at 480 and that'll allow me two 10 mil dovetail on each end to make the actual shelf width 460 is what I need. Now I'm going to set up my router table to do a 10 mil dovetail. It's a nice tight joint. I would love to leave it visible on the piece 
because then people would see how I did it instead of guessing that where are the screws but I don't need to use any screws if I get that right on the shelf so I might do another nah bugger it go for it Brian go for it Brian so I'm very nervous about this but I'm going to do it. To a fire. I better get that out of there, eh? Put the slot on the wrong side of the board. Oh. And there ain't no going back. There ain't no fixing it. Ah. Uh. Didn't even cross my mind. Didn't even cross my mind.